my fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Autobot Cosmos from the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 collection from Hasbro. So this is another subline that is exclusive to Walmart, very similar to the Netflix line they had previously. And it's mostly made up of repaints, slight retools, things like that. Uh, Cosmos here is actually one of only two new molds in this first wave, so of course he is short-packed. It is very difficult to get a hold of Cosmos. A lot of people are having difficulty finding him, and by some miracle I just arrived at my local Walmart. Must have been right after they put out the new case because they had one and I was able to get one. Uh, a lot of people uh, had him pre-ordered over on Hasbro Pulse. I think they filled those a while ago. I had one pre-ordered on Walmart, that got delayed until like mid-October, so I don't know if those will eventually happen. But Walmart's pretty terrible about taking pre-orders and then just pushing all the stock to store and just eventually canceling pre-orders. So I was on the hunt and luckily I was able to find one here. But he looks great. Uh, really nice artwork here on the side of the box. You can see it kind of wrap around there. Some nice artwork of the vehicle mode up top. He does compact in vehicle mode just like just about all the others. I think everything in this wave comes in vehicle mode because it's, you know, a race line, so the vehicle mode probably most important in this situation. Uh, got some more artwork of Cosmos over here on this side. Got the robot mode, got the vehicle mode, and he comes with a little checkered flag. I guess he's more race support, whether he's, you know, filming or broadcasting or just kind of determining the winner, but he I don't think he's racing. I think he's staff support for the Velocitron Speedia 500. Uh, but either way, he looks great. I really do hope that Hasbro does something to make him more readily available because it makes absolutely no sense that the one new mold in the Deluxe class is the one you short pack. I mean, you can find Burnout and Road Rocket and Blur everywhere. Even Clampdown's kind of hard to find, and he's the 400th Sideswipe mold that we've gotten, so I don't know why he'd be short packed either. It just it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think... I think there was a listing where it said something like the next wave of Velocitron was going to have a package refresh. So I'm hoping that's this guy. I'm hoping he will be readily available so that everyone who wants one can get one. But in any case, packaging looks good. I'm very excited for this guy. Let's go ahead and get him out of this box so we can take a closer look. So here's Cosmos out of the packaging. And I know a lot of people were making fun of the vehicle mode because, let's face it, it is basically a rice cooker sitting on top of a trash can lid. But I kind of love it. It really grows on you. And in hand, it really doesn't seem that out of proportion. Really nice paint applications here for what will become his chest. You have some silver, nice red Autobot symbol there. The blue all looks really sharp. You have the two different shades of green. And, of course, the yellow underneath, which we'll see a lot more of in the robot mode. And a little bit of red up here. So honestly, I think it looks great. The color scheme is fantastic. The paint applications look really good. There's not too much to the vehicle mode. There's no articulation or anything like that. It just sits around. You know, you can pretend it's flying. There's not really much going on. He does come with two accessories. He has this really, really basic green gun. There's not too much going on with this, but it is a little gun. And then he does have this uh, checkered flag piece. Now you can see, unfortunately, that this was all painted on top of a piece of plastic that I assume is the same color as this because the white is already starting to wear around the connection port for pegging it into the side of the gun. And unfortunately, they also only painted the checkered flag pattern on one side. I kind of wish they had done both sides. Not a big deal, but uh, you can go ahead and peg this into the side of the gun here. And then he's supposed to hold it here so that it looks like a flag, like he's waving the checkered flag at the race. And then if you want, you can peg this into either of these spots here on the side. Like that. You can take the flag off if you want and just have the gun. But he's got two ports, one on each side there, to peg the accessory. Not really that exciting. And it would be weird to have him flying through space with this flag just completely pointing straight up. Must be a lot of starch to that flag, I don't know, but <laughs> there's no way. Well, there's no wind in space. I don't know, this is an argument for another time. Here's the accessory, we'll put that off to the side. Uh, but yeah, he looks good. Uh, just for a fun comparison, here is Blaster in boombox mode. Another alt mode that really doesn't have much going on in terms of articulation or movement. But hey, they look fun together, right? I'm pretty sure these two had an adventure together back in the G1 cartoon. I feel like that's true. But it's a great little vehicle mode. I like it. 
Uh, but there's just not much to do with it on its own. So let's go ahead, let's transform him into robot mode. Alright, so it's a pretty simple uh, transformation, honestly. There's not much going on here. We're going to start by, uh, you can see what's obviously going to be the arms in the robot mode. We're going to grab them and kind of swing them out to the side. Now the directions tell you to put these arms all the way straight out. You're not going to be able to do that because you can see that there's this little yellow piece here that's going to be part of the shoulder connection. And that's going to get in the way. So if you really want these like all the way out to the side, you'd have to rotate them. Like the directions have you pull it straight out here. That's not going to happen. So if you want to pull it all the way out, you'd have to kind of rotate them back a little bit. It doesn't really matter. You're just getting them out of the way. So just kind of get them out of the way like that. You're going to uh, take this section here. And it's a little difficult to do, but you can see this yellow piece here. This whole yellow piece is going to pull straight back. And it's just kind of getting a hold of this section to be able to do that. So you kind of have to just kind of grab a hold. There you go. So you can see how that whole piece just popped straight out like that. And then you can kind of lift this up. And this should actually... Well, we'll leave it here for now because I don't want to break anything. We're going to flip these flaps up here. You can see that they were pegged in that tab slot there to that tab. And then this whole section is going to come down. And this is going to form the crotch section here. This is going to flip up and fill in this empty section right here. So that goes and clips right into there. Now you should be able to have enough clearance to take this and spin this whole piece 180 like so. This section right here, you can see that there are two tabs and they're going to fit into these two tab spots right up here. So you're just going to flip this up and they're going to peg right in like that. At this point, we're going to take this and you can see that there's a little tab spot right there and there's a little tab right here. So this is going to fold in. You can kind of put these back down just to get them out of the way. This is going to come in and that's going to tab in right there. And then you want to take that. Remember that tab I showed earlier, which was the reason these couldn't go all the way out. It's kind of a U bracket and that's going to clip onto this piece here for the shoulder. So this is going to come around and that's going to just clip right on there. And it snaps on pretty well. And that's going to basically form your shoulder assembly. So at this point we're pretty much done. You can see Cosmos <laughs> coming together here. We're going to split the legs apart. We're going to fold this in. So you might have to kind of fold it a little bit just to get the clearance and then you can kind of fold it back. You have these little pieces here on the side which are going to flip around and uh, snap onto this tab right here. And that's just to kind of lock the leg in place but also give them a little bit of heels. So just to show that again, this is going to flip and just kind of snap over top. So that's what it should look like. They should be sticking out the top just a little bit. So we'll straighten this all out. You can see we have the hands hidden in the forearms there. So we're just going to reach in and flip those out. And then the last thing to do is the head. Now I will say... I had difficulty the first time transforming this, and I'll show you what I mean. So all you're supposed to do is push down here, and this is supposed to flip around. Now you can see that it's two kind of plastic green discs here that are pegged into each other. And for whatever reason, I was pushing down on this, and something underneath was caught, because it was trying to split the discs. Like I was pushing on this, and this disc was trying to come off of the bottom one, so just something to be a little wary of. I kind of just had to really kind of push like all together so that I wasn't plying one piece off of the other. I had to kind of push like this. And then finally whatever was holding it let go. And now I have no trouble whatsoever. I can click it back and forth and it's great. So if you have difficulty like I did the first time, just be a little careful with it. But eventually this just flips around and that gives you the robot head. So it's a really fun little way to do it. I think it works out great. I just got really nervous because it took me so long to find one of these. I didn't want to break it during the first transformation. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here he is in all his glory in robot mode. He looks fantastic. I mean, he's just a fun, dumpy little guy. It's such a great design. I think it really, really works. I wasn't a huge fan of them doing all of the mini bots as deluxes because I kind of just felt like the scale wasn't correct. Um, but it's been working out so far. Honestly, all of the deluxe mini bots they've made have been pretty great. And Cosmos here is really no exception. Doesn't have a ton of kibble. 
You have this little bit of a backpack here, but I really don't feel like that gets in the way. You hardly even see it from the front. You just kind of have these two little pieces here. The arms look great. I will say he does have ridiculously hollow forearms, but it's not super apparent just from handling him in robot mode. It doesn't jump out at you. Now, depending on what kind of pose you put him in, it can get more and more obvious. But for the most part, uh, the head sculpt I think is fantastic. It's very basic, but it works. Really nice paint for those blue eyes. You have the red here for that helmet. The flat top is fantastic. Face sculpt and all that, really, really nice. You get a lot of nice range of motion here. So side to side, no problem. You can tilt side to side. You can look down. You can look up. Nice range of motion there on that ball joint. You have a hinge here for the shoulder, as well as a, I guess technically that's a rotation. The hinge here goes out to the side. Nice range of motion there. You do have a uh, 90 degree bend in the elbow and you do have a swivel as well. So you can elbow and swivel all there at that joint. Uh, nothing in the wrist because of how it folds into the forearm, but he does have some kind of guns molded on there. So him and Hot Rod can have a, you know, arm gauntlet contest of some kind. I don't know, I'm just making this up, but I think that looks pretty cool. I like him having those weapons there on the back of his hand. You have some movement here in the waist. You have a hinge here for these little side skirts. I mean, I'll be honest, these are really more functional for the transformation. I don't think they're needed in this mode, but at least they're on a hinge so you can get them out of the way. He has a great range of motion in the hips. Kick out to the side, front, back, no problem there. Thigh swivel. Uh, yeah, 90 degrees. I was gonna say maybe a little more, but now 90 degrees there in the knee. And then, of course, you have ankle tilt, as that has become a prerequisite for Transformer toys in this age. But he looks good. I like him a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him his little checkered flag gun so he can wave the checkered flag. Or if you want, you can have him hold this as a gun. And if you think it looks dumb to have the flag on the side, you can pop that off and just give him his little gun. And that works. I gotta be honest, I don't remember seeing Cosmos use a gun in the original cartoon. Um, I, he wasn't in a ton of episodes, but I don't know if he ever had a gun. I'd have to go back and look. If someone knows the episode he, he wielded a gun, let me know. Put it in the comments. But he's great. I like him a lot. I think he's fun. And the idea of him just kind of being like you know, the the Lakitu of Mario Kart to the Speedia 500 <laughs> just kind of makes me laugh. He's just support staff. He's there to film and, and, you know, capture all the action from the eagle eye view and then wave the flag to see who wins. It's kind of perfect. It kind of suits him. So I love it. I think he's a lot of fun. Um, Yeah, I don't really have much to complain about him. Honestly, transformation's fun. Articulation's great, head sculpt's fantastic, uh, paint applications are good, accessories are fine. I mean, honestly, I don't love the giant uh, hollow forearms, but they kind of are well hidden enough that it, it's not really that big a deal. Honestly, my biggest complaint about Cosmos is how hard it is to find him. That's my biggest complaint, because this is a great mold. It's a new mold. I know originally, I think the plan was they were going to remold slash repaint that uh, Cybertron mode Bumblebee that was exclusive to Target. I think that was the original plan. But then for whatever reason, they just decided to, you know, really, you know, show Cosmos some love here. And I'm glad they did. It's a, it's a great toy. Robot mode, vehicle mode, both look great. Fun transformation, like I said. There's really nothing to complain about. If you can find this guy, definitely pick him up. Um, hopefully don't pay scalper prices because... I don't want anyone to ever have to pay scalper prices. I'm hoping he'll either get easier to find in this assortment, maybe they'll do a case refresh, or they'll just put him in the next wave as well, so that way everyone who wants one has a chance to get one. Or maybe those pre-orders will just eventually get filled by, by Walmart. Crazier things have happened. We'll see. Um, but he's great. He's really great. Like I said, I really don't have anything to complain about other than how difficult it was to attain him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.